Problem with interferes. What does it mean when a person has a lot of fears inside? He seems to have an active lifestyle, to be struggling with something, to be organizing his space. But inside he has endless fears, that something might happen to his mother, his grandmother, his grandfather, that he might lose control. What is the nature of this anxiety, and what causes it? This anxiety can come from a wide range of sources. It can be fears from your past life, from your childhood, or from your prenatal period. There can be a huge number of fears, and they can overwhelm the consciousness. Some fears are naturally processed. Some fears become crusty and you can't touch them because you have to break those fears and work with them more thoroughly and use other methods. There can be many causes of fear, including life experiences, parents with broken consciousness, a mother's difficult pregnancy, or family karma. The other thing is that if you're going to work according to our methodology, you have to follow it exactly. First you have to cleanse the period of prenatal development, then you have to cleanse the astral body by years, then you have to do specific astral body cleansing. Only then can you begin to work with karmic chains. You can follow a specific technique that delves deep into the level of past incarnations, only after that can you begin to do the elemental cleansing, which works deep down on the genetic level. It cleanses the astral body on the genetic level and helps you get rid of the fears. Believe me, you will not cleanse the astral body completely. You will leave the most basic fears that are necessary for survival. Because a man who fears nothing is a kamikaze. You probably saw a boy dancing at the crossroads on your way here. This person is probably stoned or something. He has no astral realm at all. He is not afraid of anything. He is dancing and throwing himself in front of cars. Until our police came and gently took him to the station. However, he is not afraid for his life at all. He is completely out of it. Remember that our fears help us to have the ability to navigate in space. The other thing is that when these fears become pathological, then we perceive space as a form of fear, and that's also a pathology. So our task is to slowly cleanse our astral body of fears, leaving us with the bare minimum that will help us survive.